What's up guys, Michael from Coffee Glass here. Just a quick video for you guys now, uh, kind of a first look and a review of Apple's brand new iTunes software, iTunes 11. Um, it was released today, uh, 29th of November, uh, and it's got a lot of great features that we're gonna have a look at now. So let's get straight to the video. Okay, so the first thing that we can see here obviously is the actual design has changed very drastically from the previous version of iTunes. Um, the, the colours and the colour scheme and things very much now match what is on the uh, iPhone 5 or just in general iPhone, uh, sorry, iOS 6. Uh, in terms of the light greys and the white, it's a very minimal design basically. Um, the first thing that we've got here in terms of the albums themselves is when you do click on an album, it now brings up kind of a colour coordinated section with the actual kind of music and things in there, copy the album artwork and things like that. And it changes depending on which album and obviously the actual text as well, the colour of the text changes with that. So that's a very nice feature and does it with every album that you have basically. Um, all my albums have album artwork so I'm very anal about that. Um, I'm not too sure what would happen if it didn't have the album artwork, I'm guessing it would just be a standard grey colour basically. Um, but that's no, so a very nice design and I you know, really do like it basically. Um, and again in terms of with the albums and things it's got a lot of the information there in terms of on the right hand sorry left hand side it's got obviously to play in the songs and things the shuffle of the songs you can also click to get more information about the artist itself as well so again there's a lot of information in here that is very nice and if you click on the actual bit on the right hand side it takes you to the iTunes store where it gives you more information about the actual artist themselves more albums and singles from that artist and also related music or just recommendations if they've maybe been on another album or if you need to complete an album that you've already got for instance it gives you all of that information there basically so again in terms of the actual user interface it is a very very nice user interface that I personally think is a lot better than what was on the previous side. I mean we did have the cover flow which has now gone there is no cover flow from what I can see I've had a look around I cannot find the cover flow on here not too much of a big deal for me because it's still got all the good information that we've got if you click on the artist page uh, again you'll see here it's got two separate columns one on the right one on the left which gives the album art uh, sorry the actual albums and things with the songs and on the left hand side there has the actual artists now if you look at how the albums are actually laid out it's laid out in kind of two columns depending on the number of songs um, and again in terms of the genres again it's got the different sections down the left hand side and also the songs on the right in terms of the music videos um, again you can see here the cloud iteration that we've got now from iCloud all these music videos I have deleted um, but now that I've installed iTunes 11, it has now brought them back down because of how much cloud integration there is with iCloud, basically, which there wasn't so much of that beforehand with maybe the older versions of iTunes. So that's a very nice welcome change that you know I personally like because obviously it's got all the information there that you need. Obviously, purchased is working out exactly the same, and in terms of playlists as well, all the information for the playlists stay exactly the same in terms of how you add the music and things like that, basically. Um, you do obviously have iTunes Match as well. I don't currently have that enabled because of just data usage and things but again it's a very nice to have that on there basically um, now if you actually go into the the view section here you can actually show or hide music that you have in the cloud um, so you can see how I just went up into the toolbar clicked on view show cloud music and it brings it all up in terms of any songs that you may have previously got rid of or that for whatever reason don't show up basically and you can then sort it by category and if you want to re-download those songs then again it gives you the option to do so basically which is again a very nice feature and also just kind of shows the kind of connection that it has there with all the information in terms of iCloud and it's very uh, kind of in your face you know kind of you must use it it's a very good software etc um, on the top uh, right hand side here we do have where my iPhone 5 is currently connected and again a lot more new information here as well it actually gives you a battery percentage of the iPhone while it is plugged in very nice also standard things in terms of the capacity of your phone uh, any updates that you need to do where you're going to be backing up to the options and things of the Wi-Fi syncing and so on and again the bar down the bottom obviously gives you a bit more information as of what is on there I currently have about 160 or so apps on my iPhone 5 at the moment I did get the 64 gig as it shows at the top there so again this is a very nice kind of information panel as well kind of staying pretty much the same in terms of how you put things onto your phone obviously it's still got the section here for apps with a picture of your phone on the right and the apps on the left um, obviously it's got all the music information in terms of what playlists and things you have put on there as well um, and also things like photos you can choose which photo albums that you want on there and things like that as well basically so again the actual information that you get from this is again it's all about information consumption in my opinion there's a lot more information it's a lot easier to get to in terms of the 
kind of design and where everything is basically. So again, really nice there as well. Now if you come out of here and go over to the top left hand side, which is the opposite to where the phone and things is, um, if we just wait for this to load, my laptop is getting a bit slow at the moment, I'm trying to uh, render some videos in the background. Um, if you go over now to the uh, top right hand side, over, sorry, the top left hand side, you do have this little kind of um, dashboard, as I would call it, in terms of where you can get access to everything. Um, so you've got your music, your movies, TV shows, podcasts, books and applications as well. And as you would imagine, once you then click on one of those categories, it again takes you exactly to where it is. And again, the cloud iteration here shines through as well. In terms of these movies here, are ones that I maybe previously have maybe lost in terms of maybe transferring from one laptop to the other like I've done not long ago. Uh, they do now show up in iCloud. And exactly the same with the TV shows as well. So again, all the information here in terms of the TV shows, previous past TV shows is all there. And it also has all the episodes as well with every TV show that you've basically purchased in the past. So again, really nice how that's done as well. And again, the next one that we have on here, in my opinion, is podcasts. And again, the way that this is done is very much left and right. It's got all the information in terms of the artists or albums, etc. Uh, in this case, it's kind of show down the left-hand side. And then the episodes of the show do appear now here on the right-hand side. Now, you can see it on the top as well. There is unplayed per, uh, podcast and list. So you can specifically choose which ones you do or don't want to show. If there's something you know you haven't watched yet, you can quite easily bring those up, basically. The next section is books. I currently don't have any books in here at the moment, so not too much to show you. But you can imagine that if there was, it would just have them laid out. It doesn't have it as a bookshelf like it does on the iPhone. Maybe a design change after Scott Forstall has left the company. Maybe Johnny I have had a say in that. Now, in terms of the actual apps, again, everything says exactly the same pretty much in terms of the apps. It's got the very nice uh, app artwork that you can see. It's very big, very bold you can't change the size like you used to be able to um but i think they've done some things to make it a little bit more smooth you don't get as much pop-up in terms of it waiting to get information this is a bit of a downer for me the app update i'm not sure if they're going to be changing at any point is different now uh well sorry it's the same as what it used to be in the old itunes version now clicking on here the update for instance for the remote We'll now take us through to the next section, which is the iTunes Store. Now you can see here just straight away, the App Store has a very big overhaul as well. It's got very nice big artwork in terms of the information as well. It's all very nice and pretty much exactly matches what you get in iOS 6, basically. If anyone out there has iOS 6, you know exactly what I'm talking about in terms of the information there that it does offer and the way that it is laid out, basically. So again, it's got all the information in terms of rating and reviews and related apps as well. Uh, if we now just click to the App Store... Again, you can see here with the little kind of carousel at the top and the information and just the vibrancy of everything. Again, very much matching what we have in iOS 6, which for me, I'm not really too bothered about. It's a big bonus in my opinion because um, obviously it's got all the information there that you need and it is laid out very well and you can find what you need a lot more easily than maybe you used to be able to. And again, in terms of the App Store as well, it just goes a bit faster than what it used to as well, basically. You can see here from when I'm going into it, my internet is very slow. I'm only on about 3 megabits. Um, but even then, it kind of loads everything up quite quickly and gets all the information there that you need. Again, with the music side of things in the App Store, um, in the iTunes Store, as it were, um, you've now got all the information here. Again, very much similar to... Uh, iOS 6 as well, you get the carousel at the top which you have in iOS 6 as well and again all the information, new and noteworthy etc, um, you've got singles albums etc, you've got the charts down the uh, the right hand side where they have always been basically, so again all the kind of information you get is very nice as well um, a new thing that they have as well, which I'm going to see if I can access now, would be kind of like a featured artist page, so if we have a quick look down at Wiz Khalifa um, it brings up all the information in terms of his albums that he's had out in the past, any pre-orders that you can make, songs, music videos, etc. It's got it all on here, basically. And again, if you click on another artist, it then brings up um, either the album that you clicked on, or if you go again into where it says just on the top left here, Maroon 5, then again it goes into it and brings up all the information about Maroon 5, about their albums, about their music videos that you can do as well. Now, another neat thing as well is the fact that you don't have to get into different sections to get everything. You just have to go maybe into a music video section or a single section, etc. You don't have to do that anymore. There's now artist information as well. Gives you a bit of a biography about who they are, where they came from, how long they've been around, etc. Which, again, is very nice. And a very nice new gallery option as well. If artists want to uh, upload pictures of the band or any tours or anything or promotions, they can do in this section. And you can just go through them at your own pace, kind of have a look around and see kind of, you know, what the band is up to. So they've taken some things from the 
uh, failed social network that was Ping, that was out not long ago, that they now got rid of, but they've kept some elements, basically. Again, in terms of the film section, I love the way that it's all laid out. Um, the information that you get and the way that you get it is very easy to understand. Anyone can use this software. Um, and like I said, it has all the information that you need in terms of it. So I've got here Batman here. Um, it now has a Rotten Tomato score as well in the uh, kind of middle left portion of the screen. Um, iTunes Extras, so obviously if you download it from iTunes you do get some extra content if you need that information. And again, ratings and reviews are exactly the same. Um, and you do then have as well a related section, um, which again is previous to what was on there before in terms of movies and things like that. Um, so, so I'm not too sure how much Star Trek relates to The Dark Knight, but hey, never mind. Um, but obviously down the uh, middle here you do have things like uh, The Dark Knight, for instance, from the first one, because Christian Bale's in it. Inception, because of Joseph Gordon-Lovett, so it does kind of relate very well. And also more by the director as well, so it gives you all that information as well, basically. So, like I said, that's just basically a very quick look at the uh, new iTunes 11 from Apple. Uh, like I say, it is available to download now from apple.com or .co.uk. I would highly recommend getting it. Um, so, like I say, it's got some really nice features in there. Um, leave a comment below if there's anything that you think I've missed that you want me to pick up on. But apart from that... Okay, so you can see from the video that there's a lot of really nice features and really uh, good things that have come to iTunes 11. Uh, a lot of features that maybe you didn't necessarily think that you needed but have kind of come in very handy. Um, the actual main difference that I really like is the actual graphical change in the way that they've done the UI and the interface. It's a very nice player now. Uh, it was nice before, not going to lie, but they've just done some, uh, they've done some other things now that kind of just put it right at the very top of its game, basically. Um, so like I said, that was your first look at iTunes 11. Um, I am Michael from Copper of Glass, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks very much. Thanks.